Greetings. Uh, let us talk about what an endoscopy technician should do in terms of setting up the patient for the procedure and his role in the timeout. After the endoscopy technician has brought in the scope from the storage area, hooked up the buttons, turned on the endoscopy processor, check the suction, air water, water jet and light. He should uh, help the nurse in setting up the patient for the procedure. So let us first look at setup for colonoscopy. Once you reach the bedside, introduce yourself. This is very important. Next, Ask the patient to lie on the left side and move close to the edge of the bed. In some uh, endoscopy centers, depending upon the endoscopist's preference, you may want to ask the patient to lie in the middle of the bed if the endoscopist uses the scope to lie on the bed. Otherwise, asking the patient to lie on the left side close to the edge of the bed is preferable. Lift the bed up to proper height and bring the monitor to proper height. The monitor should be at eye level or just below the eye level for the endoscopist. Place check pads and towel under the bottom and you are set. So when the Endoscopist comes, you should be happy that you've arranged the patient's bed at a proper height that is suitable for him and also you arranged the monitor uh, right in front of him at a proper height at eye level or just below the eye level. That is ergonomically correct position so that the endoscopist does not develop injuries straining his neck or bending forwards. These same steps work for EGD uh, except for some differences. Let us look at how to set up for EGD. Again when you go to the bedside, introduce yourself, ask the patient to lie on the left side, lift the bed up and arrange the monitor. Place check pads and towel under the head above the pillow and you are set. So when the endoscopist comes for the procedure, you should make sure that the bed is at the proper height, the monitor is at the proper height that is at his or just below the eye level so that he does not have to bend forwards or strain his neck. After positioning the patient, arranging the bed and monitor, your next step is to enter the patient's details into the computer or open the correct record. If the patient is, uh, has already been scheduled, you open the correct record by the patient's name and MR number. If you have to enter, you have to enter all these details patient's name with MR number and date of birth, physician, nurse and technician involved in the procedure, scope model and scope number being used for the procedure. All these details are important. You make sure, you make sure, doubly make sure that you select the correct patient for that procedure. Mistakes can happen when a wrong patient is uh, picked up and the report goes into the wrong patient and it takes a long time to correct that problem. After you have finished doing this, you participate in the timeout. Timeout is typically done by the endoscopist and everybody in the room participates in timeout. 
And as a technician, you go back to the endoscopy computer and make sure that the correct patient by name, MR number, date of birth, and procedure is the one that is selected for that procedure. After the sedation, prior to the insertion of the scope, one more step. You want to maintain the correct position of the patient. Lying on the left side, square, neck and head in line with the spine without patient lying on the back or bending the neck or in a crooked position. This is critical. And once the patient is on the left side, square, neck and head and spine in line, the endoscopist can easily do the procedure because the insertion is relatively straight into the esophagus. And as the procedure goes on, you pay close attention to what the endoscopist is doing and as you get experienced, you can anticipate what needs to be done and be ahead of the game. I hope this video is useful. Thank you.